Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 using the blur effect. What we're going to do in this quick session is use this image, but we want to create a blurred background and give it a little bit more of a dramatic effect. So I'm going to start with an image, and you can start with whatever image you'd like that has sort of a depth of field to it, if you will. It has sort of some depth where there's something in the background clearly and something in the foreground. In this case, I want to highlight simply this rock tower and blur the rest of it out. So I'm going to start with this image. I'm going to copy it and paste it. So I'm just going to copy and paste. So now I have two of these images. And I can sort of move it using my arrow keys or get it over it some other way. But instead, what I can do is hold the Shift key and click the other one as well. With both of them selected, I now go to my Format tab, which is my contextual tab for dealing with pictures. And I'm going to come over to the Align option. And I'm going to choose Align Left. And I'm also going to choose Align Top. Now it's aligned with the original image, one on top of the other. And if I want to see this, I can click on my Selection pane where I can see this selection. So I'm going to click away and now click on the image, which is my top image. If I click in here, I can even change the name of this and name it my foreground. And I'll click in the other one. And we'll call this the background. With that done, I'm going to click on the image in the foreground and I'm going to choose to remove the background. And so with the background removed from the foreground image, it will let the background actually shine through. Because right now there's just a standard opaque image over another opaque image. So with my foreground selected, I'm going to choose Remove Background. And this is doing a really great job of it. So what I'm going to do now is say, yeah, keep those changes. What it's going to do now is it's going to let the background image shine through. Since we have two right over the top of each other, we can't see it. But if I was to take this and move it, you can see when I move it, I'm only seeing that rock tower. So now I'm going to click on the background image. And here I'm going to go to my artistic effects in my format tab. And I'm going to choose to add a blur. And there's other effects in here. If I wanted to sort of go with a chalk sketch or make it paint strokes or whatever, I could sort of go with something more artistic but I'm just going to go ahead and add a blur to it. And by adding a blur, it just sort of pushes out or pushes to the foreground this little rock tower. You can use this anytime there's a single item or subject that you want to really accentuate in a photograph. You can blur out the background and it will help it stand out. And that's how we can use the blur effect in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010.